Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's update the cold market. So yesterday, this, well actually intraday short term trading steps have been completed that we discussed. This relates to the pullback from the uh, conference support that we discussed around uh, 20, 30 or uh, this uh, relates to the target. So we said it might be treated as a kind of the brand body trade, momentum trade with the pullback to the 618 level 2060. And currently market is flirting around. So to be honest, right at this point, especially at the eve of the payrolls report, uh, we do not have really superb trading setups. So you probably could try to hold the short position from the 26th if you have it. Uh, it's maybe market could show to be deeper retracement, uh, but it's mostly some tactical um, setups only for one session. In the longer term view, I suggest guys that markets slowly will start turning attention out from the Fed policy because it's more or less clear what market expects already and what's uh, coming from the Fed. Uh, the banking crisis is developing so yesterday it's some bank falling across the United States. All regional banks yesterday were trading in a red zone so it was the first time in history when all regional banks are uh, trading negative. So it's probably we will see more bankruptcies on the small banks but by my opinion currently guys uh, that it seems well um, fed authorities united states treasury looks too quiet too calm to speak about that this is surprising action i more and more tending to idea that maybe this is a kind of the centralization it is more it's planned action to concentrate the banking sector among the few big banks um, just because it, it's uh, easy to control and it's easy to manage, to govern uh, the overall policy through the big banks. Besides, there are additional uh, tools exist. For example, the Fed, Fed authorities, uh, United States Treasury could use the cash for pumping into an economy uh, that belongs to the big banks. So, for example, uh, GP Morgan used its own cash to buy uh, First Republic. Uh, so, uh, sorts of uh, things. But now I think that it's some kind of the more political issue. That's um, it's, it's not uh, some some occasional stuff. The same story uh, that we will talk about in the gold vehicle report. But I'm just briefly tell you. Um, it's, uh, now the special interesting stands around the regulatory. United States Treasury bonds auctions. They happen uh, weekly, be weekly, depending on them. Uh, uh, the, the term of the bond and it is interesting that in the recent auctions that has happened uh, yesterday uh, and, and on Wednesday uh, this expectedly yields of the bonds with the uh, maturity in the July in the, in the June was uh, greater just because of the premium for possible default but it is interesting that in the July it was implied the same premium and tells that probably a market society right now expects that uh, debt sale hardly will be resolved within the just few weeks and as you understand the bonds on the actions are buying by the primary dealers this is big whales this is uh, big commercial banks such as uh, gp morgan city goldman sachs um, some uh, Canton Fitzgerald and others. And most interesting stuff was about longer term bonds. Although the auction had been announced, but no results have been published. It means that either it was cancelled or uh, banks have uh, claimed for big premium, very big premium. So it was not make sense for a treasury to uh, get the money at this interest rate that makes me think that the gold very often as i said turned to the debt sale problem and that makes me think that hardly we will get a big retracement on the gold within the nearest couple of months 
until the July is definitely so uh, so we, we should not consider that we will get some drop below the 1950 collapse and it's going lower but more probable that market will remain somewhere around the previous step. This is the strategical conclusion that we could make from the fundamental background that we see. With the details, we will take a look on it in our um, weekly report, as I said. Right now, in the short term, you could see that market has completed the target. Now it stands in some minor pullback on the fall time from chart. That's potentially the areas that we could consider. So 2035 where it already has been retested, tested yesterday. Uh, maybe with the downward action as trend has turned bearish here as well, we could get some kind of the ABCD pattern with the OP around next support of 2010 area. And it's also, as you can see, the target of this potential ABCD pattern. That maybe happens if pearls today will be really great. So it's one of the possible targets. So if you have taken the short position yesterday, you probably could move stops to the break even and see what will happen and just use this area as a potential target. On the hourly chart, you could see the bounce from the confidence that we talked about, touching 2060. And recall what we said, watch for regardless people to sell. This is favorite gold patterns for reversal. And then this way, we've got this ABCD performance, regardless people to sell. Now market is dropping lower. So um, about the trading right now, personally, I do not want to consider today taking the new long position. Speaking about short, it's also difficult to say because markets come into the confluence and buying right here, right above the confluence, it's also not a good idea because market could show the bounce. So uh, the one possible solution, if you still would like to take short scalp short position for today's session, you could wait if market will start bouncing up, up from confluence for somehow and moving back, showing some minor bounce right there. You could theoretically could try to take the short position but uh, to be honest guys the major moment for taking short position was right here and personally for me currently today is because major all our major trades already is done so that we have made first of all we're betting on the breakouts either here or to the downside using the special tool that we discussed for the week now it's actually has been completed yesterday the two trades actually also is done so currently when the market stands somewhere in between providing no clear trading step maybe it makes sense to wait so maybe it makes sense not to do anything at least uh, until we will get something maybe late in the session i do not know and this is only if you have no problem with the keeping position through the weekend personally on the gold market i do not uh, like to do this so that's what we have um, currently on the goal. So you can see most important news right now mostly stands in the fundamental background, not in the technical side. On the technical side, we see some 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 silence, some come down on the market, just because all the really big events have happened and market needs to take some breath.